Larry Page and Sergey Brin are estimated to be worth nearly 60 billion dollars. Welcome to Planet Lux and in this video we'll take a look inside the luxurious houses and lifestyle of Google founders. Curious to know? Let's find out. How much would you have billed if two scrappy computer scientists had approached you in 1998 and asked to rent out your garage to start the company? 1700 a month, said YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki, recalling the rent she charged the two Google co-founders, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, for the garage at her old Menlo Park home. I also took a security deposit. Page and Brin were a PhD students at Stanford at the time, earning much less than most engineers in Silicon Valley. When Page and Brin approached Wojcicki, she didn't hesitate. Wojcicki no longer lives in that 2,000 square foot, four bedroom house, but renting out her garage to Page and Brin changed her life. She was later hired as a Google employee and went on to become its senior VP of advertising and commerce, overseeing some of the company's largest entities, including AdSense and AdWords. Coming to real estate, Sergey Brin and Larry Page own this high priced mansion, which is owned by one half of the duo, Sergey Brin. The mansion is located in the Los Altos Hills, and he paid $7 million for the land and an estimated $15.7 million to build it. Los Altos Hills, premised in the 1950s, is currently ranked 8th on the list of America's most expensive zip codes. The neighborhood is densely forested with sequoia trees and apricot orchids, and homes in the area can fetch up to $60 million. The land for Sergey Brin's home is thought to have cost $7 million on its own, with him purchasing more every couple of years to expand the $15.7 million main house. When Google went public in 2004, he became a billionaire overnight, and his 3,457 square foot home includes amenities such as a 23 foot balcony and a limestone bath with heated floors. There are four bedrooms, five bathrooms and a large swimming pool in the well-kept garden, but there are few pictures because he is notoriously private. Larry Page's Palo Alto home is 8,149 square feet in size and has six bedrooms and six bathrooms. This house is thought to have cost him around $7 million in 2005, and it is now thought to be worth nearly double that amount. Years later, Larry Page constructed a second home on the property, complete with an elevator, solar panels, a rooftop garden and a paved parking lot. The house is a far cry from the 1995 garage where he worked during Google's early days. Moving on to the East Coast, we take a look at Sergey Brin's large Manhattan apartment at 744 Greenwich Street, New York. The house, which cost $8.5 million, is 3,500 square feet in size, has three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms and a large modern kitchen. This pricey residence also has two massive living slash entertaining areas and a stunning 1200 square foot wraparound terrace with open 360 degree views of downtown Manhattan. The condominium was built in 2007 and is located in an area with designer boutiques and trendy restaurants. The Village Vanguard Jazz Club and the Stonewall Inn Bar, the site of the 1969 riots that launched the gay rights movement, are two notable venues. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Getting back to the topic, owning a private jet is a rite of passage for a multimillionaire and owning just one is insufficient for a billionaire. Sergey Brin and Larry Page have a couple of private jets that live in their own airport, which is one of their most expensive possessions. The founders of Beam Aviation used an estimated $82 million to set up their air travel system, which includes eight private jets, an airport and a former NASA space that serves as their hangar. In 2005, they paid $15 million for their first plane, a Boeing 767-200 from Cantus, and spent an additional $10 million converting it from a passenger plane to a private jet. Aside from the large Boeing 767, their fleet consists of several Gulfstream 5 jets and a couple of other small planes dedicated to business travel. It's pointless to be worth more than $50 billion if you can't own things that ordinary people can't afford, such as classified military aircraft. Sergey Brin and Larry Page have added a Dornier Alpha fighter jet to their long list of expensive purchases. The jet, a light attack and advanced trainer jet, was built in 1982 in Germany and France. 
The aircraft can reach a top speed of 994 km per hour thanks to its gun pod which houses a 30mm DEFA cannon. This aircraft is estimated to have cost them $4.5 million. A luxury yacht, which reportedly cost $45 million, is another item on the Google Founder's long list of ultra-expensive possessions. Page owns the stunning 60-meter superyacht Census, which was purchased in 2011. Sir Douglas Myers, a New Zealand businessman, sold him the yacht. According to Boat International, Census was designed by Philippe Stark and can accommodate 12 guests on board at the same time. It has six wave runners, a jet board, and three fast standers. It was originally built in 1999 and had been renovated several times before Page purchased it. The Census luxury yacht comes equipped with a gym, 10 suites, a helipad, and multi-level sun decks. It also has a large living room and a large garage where a boat, jet ski, and helicopter are stored. While Larry Page owns Census, Sergey Brin owns the Dragonfly, an $18 million super yacht. The billionaire purchased the yacht in 2011 after previously chartering it for $773,000 per week for his exotic vacations around the world. The yacht is the world's fastest super yacht and it features an open-air cinema, a jacuzzi and a dance floor that can accommodate more than 30 guests and crew members. Larry does not own just one private jet. He and Google co-founder Eric Schmidt owned a fleet of eight private jets. The co-founders paid $15 million for their first private jet in 2005 and spent an additional $10 million to have it redesigned to seat 50 people. A Boeing 757, two Gulfstream Vs, and a Dornier Alpha Jet are among the aircraft in their fleet. Page, in addition to owning jets, also co-owns a private terminal at San Jose International Airport, which cost $82 million to build in 2013. Larry has learned how to take a break from the founder of Virgin Group, Richard Branson, ever since he retired as CEO. He's also a fan of adventure sports and has expressed interest in kite surfing. Branson invited Page and his wife to kite surf on his private Necker Island in the British Virgin Islands, and the couple was photographed having fun in the sea and trying out the adventure sport. Every year in Sicily, Page and Bryn host exclusive Google camps for their employees. Every year the retreat is held at the Verdura Resort, which has a private Mediterranean coastline, a 200-foot infinity pool, and 18-hole golf courses. The resort also has seven restaurants and a single night's stay costs $2,000 per person. According to Business Insider, a private villa at the resort can include a private pool, dining area, complimentary spa treatments and two golf carts. Larry has been known to donate hundreds of thousands of dollars in Google stock to charity and he has always supported nonprofits close to his heart. In 2018, co-founder gave a portion of his Google earnings to the Carl Victor Page Memorial Foundation, which was named after his father. In 2014, he donated $25 million to the same foundation and Google to aid in the fight against Ebola. When Larry Page and Sergey Brin co-founded Google, they were both PhD students at Stanford University. Larry Page is one of the few billionaires who constantly uses his money to invest in technology and causes close to him, from making extravagant purchases to helping people. The former Google CEO is now investing in startups that are developing flying cars, which will be the introduction to the future of new technology in the coming years. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Are you a fan of Larry Page and Sergey Brin? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.